The manual transmission, the oldest and simplest design. Ever wondered why car enthusiasts love driving stick? A manual puts you in full control of power delivery. With a clutch pedal and shifter, you connect and disconnect gears yourself. Pressing the clutch separates the engine from the transmission, and selecting a gear decides how much torque reaches the wheels. It's mechanical and builds a connection with the car automatics can't match. Manuals are lighter, cheaper to fix, and usually more durable. That's why race cars, off-road vehicles, and budget models have used them for decades. The drawback? Convenience. Learning stick can be tough, especially in traffic. And in places like the U.S., manuals are vanishing. But for drivers who value experience over ease, the manual will always be special. If you want to feel like part of the machine, this is the way to go. Now let's shift to something far more common, the traditional automatic. This is what you'll find in most family cars, SUVs, and luxury rides. Instead of a clutch, it uses a torque converter, a fluid link between engine and transmission. This lets the car come to a stop without stalling and delivers smooth acceleration when you press the gas. Automatics shift on their own, once controlled by hydraulics and now by computers. They're comfortable and dead simple to use. Just put it in D and go. The downside? Older versions were heavy and less fuel efficient, but modern designs with eight, nine, or even 10 gears are refined. Brands like ZF and A. Ison have perfected them, offering quick shifts and solid efficiency. That's why torque converter automatics are everywhere, from budget sedans to high-end BMWs and Mercedes. They've lasted for one reason, smoothness and convenience. Next up, the CVT, continuously variable transmission. If you floored a CVT car and heard the engine rev up while the car caught up, you've felt the rubber band effect. Unlike manuals or automatics with fixed gears, CVTS use pulleys and a steel belt that constantly adjust ratios. This keeps the engine in its sweet spot for fuel efficiency or performance. The upsides? Smooth, fuel-friendly, and perfect for city driving. That's why cars like the Toyota Corolla, Nissan Sentra, and Honda Civic use them. They maximize miles per gallon and eliminate shift shock. Downsides? Enthusiasts say they're dull. You don't get a punchy shift, and the constant hum under throttle can be annoying. Early designs also wore out quickly. Still, CVTs dominate commuter cars because they deliver exactly what's needed, save fuel and make driving so easy. Now for something built for speed, the DCT, dual clutch transmission, or DSG, direct shift gearbox, in Volkswagen and Audi cars. DSG is just their brand name for a DCT, but the technology is the same. A DCT is basically two gearboxes in one with clutches for odd and even gears. While you're accelerating in one gear, the next is already lined up. When the shift happens, it's nearly instant, often in milliseconds. The result? Blazing fast gear changes with no drop in power. That's why DCTs are used in performance cars like the VW Golf R, Audi S3, Porsche 911, and even Ferraris and McLarens. Drivers can let it run automatically or use paddles for more control. The downsides? At low speeds, they can feel clunky and repairs are pricey, but for pure performance, few transmissions can match them. Finally, the AMT, Automated Manual Transmission. Think of it as a manual with a robot handling the clutch and shifts. It's basically a standard gearbox with actuators that do the work for you. They're cheaper to build than full automatics, which is why they're common in entry-level cars. The upside, lighter, more fuel efficient than old school automatics and much more affordable. For buyers who want automatic convenience without high cost, AMT hit the middle ground. The trade-off? Smoothness. Shifts can feel slow or jerky since the system disengages, shifts, and re-engages like a human driver. Still, in markets like India, South America, and parts of Europe, AMT made automatics accessible by keeping costs down. So, to wrap it up, the five main types of transmissions. Manual for control. Torque converter automatic for easy cruising. CVT for efficiency, DCT slash DSG for razor sharp performance, AMT for budget friendly convenience. Now I want to hear from you. What transmission does your car use? And do you love it or hate it? Drop your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more car breakdowns.